back. We've got another fantastic day weather-wise today. It is five o'clock now. I'm just heading out to get the boat, uh, meeting a couple of lads down at the pontoon in uh, Newton Ferrers, and then we're uh, we're heading out to a couple of offshore marks in hope for some some bigger fish. I've got the pole spear with me today. I want to try something different, uh, mix it up a little bit, make the uh, the hunt a little bit harder. As you've probably seen from the intro, there's quite a lot of fish. All right, that's enough of me talking now. I will see you when we're kitted up and we're ready to jump in the water. As soon as me and the lads hopped in the drink, we had a quick understanding of how this day was going to pan out. From the surface, you could see huge shoals of bass below us. Now, just like last year, you're probably thinking this is way too easy. Yes, if you shoot any fish that's in front of you, it would be easy. But the hardest part of all is picking out the nicest fish out of the bunch. As I mentioned at the start of the video, I took the pole spear out with me and it's safe to say it's very difficult to catch a fish with. The spear doesn't travel as fast when it leaves your hand as it would do on a spear gun, so the fish have a bit more time to react. If you've got any tips or tricks um, to help me out to be a bit more efficient with the pole spear, then please leave a comment in the comment section. I had two or three missed shots on some fish, but I wasn't ready to give up quite yet. When there's a few divers in the water like we had that day, it's very important to take safety as the main priority. Taking in turns, one person underwater, one person on the surface, doing his breathe up and watching the diver as best as he can and then the third person on boat watch and just watching the other two people in general. After a load of missed attempts with the pole spear and about 30 minutes later, I did manage to land my first bass on the pole spear. Very happy about that. Now, if you're interested in getting a pole spear for the UK to mix up the hunting and to make things a little bit harder, head over to Spearfishing UK and have a look at what they have to offer. With one bass already secured by myself on the boat, I decided to hunt around with a spear gun now and try and find myself a bigger fish to take home. A couple of minutes later and a nice sized fish starts making its way towards me. I line up the fish, pull the trigger and miss. Having spent most of the day swimming around the smaller bass and doing some filming, we decided to hit some deeper water. On this dive, I managed to locate a smaller shoal of fish but bigger size and that they were in slightly less visibility. I was about to do my duck dive and just to the left I noticed a very nice fish from the surface. Now I'm not normally one to shoot fish from the surface but this one was too good to miss. Having hit the two bass limit, I was now unable to take any more fish home. But with rumours of there being some black bream and gilthead bream in the area, I went back down for one final look to see if I could find some fish. This time we found a large shoal of bigger bass and I really got to appreciate some of the size of these fish. Most of these were £6 plus with the occasional fish exceeding the £10 mark like this one shown here.
Now most of that footage you've just seen was taken on my Sony camera and dive housing which is made possible by the protective cases from Nano. I wouldn't dare take my camera out on the boat without having a protective case for it. It keeps everything safe on the boat journey out to your given mark and gives you that peace of mind knowing that if it did fall overboard it's going to be completely watertight. If anyone is interested in these protective cases from Nanook for taking out on the boat, going shooting or just if you're an outdoorsy person in general then it's definitely worth taking a look at their website. They come in all different shapes and sizes to best suit you and your needs. Not only that, but they also offer a custom foam option, giving you the best protection available for your equipment. If you're interested in having a look at some of the cases, then I'll leave the link in the video description. Once we got back in closer to land, but still remaining out on the boat, we prepped the fish, making sure everything went back into the water. I then dropped these two lads off and picked up some other lads and we went back out. On the way out to our mark, we had a pod of dolphins that followed us alongside the boat. Now thankfully my mate Jack had his drone with him so he managed to capture some pretty cool footage. Hats off to you for filming it and thank you very much for letting me use the clips. Salvation Nation, baby. Are you going to catch anything on this? I don't think so. Should I first know? I kept the cooking very simple, I pan fried the bass skin down until fully cooked and then on top of the tortilla I added some avocado, rocket, a few capers and then I put the bass fillet on top. Finished off with a bit of mayonnaise. <laughs> Get that done, you better mm, come on. Lovely. No bite cameraman? No, I'm good. That's going in the video. Nice. I didn't really do much filming after this as I was enjoying the food, watching the sun go down and just having a good time with the lads. But as always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. It does actually help. If you have any questions about the video or just spearfishing in general, please leave a comment in the comment section and I will get back to you as quick as possible. If you're new here and haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do, it's completely free to do so. That's it for this week. Sorry it's been quite a while since I last posted, but I'll see you all next time.